Hey everybody, Phantom Call here, or Daniel Penner, I should say. Um, which is actually kind of weird for me to stay on camera, as you could probably guess. Um, yeah, I kind of got used to referring to myself as Phantom Call online. But, but now you don't know my name is actually Daniel Penner. If any of you don't want to call me Daniel, uh, DP, I, I don't mind. But yeah, um, I'm actually going to record. The, I'm actually recording multiple reaction videos today because I I just got done watching the uh, SSJ Nine K video, the Shaman versus Pawonga, and I'm now actually going to be reacting to a couple of Nukes top five videos. Uh, this one I'm reacting to is called Five Scary Ghost Videos That Will Scare You Silly. And uh, the link to this original video is going to be in the description box down below. So if you want to check out the original video prior to watching the reaction video, or you'd be able to go for it. Now, uh, the link. So yeah, the link is going to be in the description box. Uh, I'm trying to make sure to do that. So don't worry, I make sure I will do that. So uh, let's see how spooky these videos are, shall we? Now let's just roll the tape. Oh my ghost. Call on camera. Uh, this video's not sponsored by the way. Not sponsored. Uh, just one person to mention, the video's not sponsored. So, and just because you don't see me drink soda, doesn't mean that you should copy me. Don't copy me when I do that. We went and rolled into Spain and we were walking through a little plaza and a little village and some guy came. A woman named Kirsty bought a doll while vacationing in Spain and brought it back home with her to England. Immediately, strange things begin to happen around her. Why'd you bring it to the UK? She says that one night at 3 10 in the morning, she heard strange noises from her child's playroom and got up to investigate. Nope. You're gonna get me to have a haunted doll. Smart move, get the heck out of there. Another night. She notices that the doll seems to be moving on its own. She grabs her phone and films a quick video. But why did she upload it to TikTok though? All of this is just a little too bizarre for Kirsty. She sets up CCTV cameras to monitor the doll at night. And she decides to lock the doll in a cabinet. But that doesn't really work out. even tries putting the doll outside for the night. This has been going on since like 8 o'clock. The mail slot is rattling and there are scratches at the door. Hell no. Hell no. We've no. actually put the doll in the car because things have got really strange. There she is. Oh my. I used to have it though. I used to have it though. Man, if that was me and I caught the and I got this, uh, if that was me and I wanted, if I bought an antique doll, because I wanted to have a, a collection of like antique dolls, 
and, and it turns out the doll, that this one particular antique doll is haunted. I, I would, I would say, I'll, I'll go to Lancashire, right, I'll go to Lancashire, find out this paranormal dude, this paranormal investigator dude, who has, li who literally has like a museum of like, of like paranormal items, and ask him if he would like to have it, because I don't want this paranormal doo-doo in my home. No! No! Because this is gonna scare the doo doo out of me, boy! The family Stay brings close. the doll back inside, but continues to monitor it with CCTV cameras. One night, they catch something truly bizarre. So we've just set up the camera ready for tonight, and we've caught something. We're not sure what it is. It's just freaky. I don't know. Um, look at the bottom of the video and you'll see it go past. The video is two seconds long, so yeah. What the fuck? Oh, what it the It almost looks fuck? as if something runs past the camera. So is a possessed doll haunting Kirsty's home? Yes. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Kirsty's story still continues. You can follow her video updates on her TikTok at KirstyX91. Disappearing at. Twitter user Daniela Garo says that her parents own a security company in Costa Rica. Nope. One of their very freaked out security officers sent them this video. <laughs> Yes, like, 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 because the woman actually disappears as she gets closer to the camera and in brighter light. Also, as one viewer noted, the woman doesn't seem to have a shadow. But is it a glitch or a ghost caught on camera? You oh, I, I hope it's a glitch. I hope it's a glitch. The weeping angels. In a previous video... Dude, really? Weeping angels? This ain't no Doctor Who type shit. We ain't dealing with no Doctor Who type shit here. Hell no. I featured YouTube ghost hunter Franco TV's visit to the Weeping Angels Cemetery in Florida, where he caught some truly terrifying footage. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? It's moving. Actually, hear a response back. What the f was that? Oh, okay, now that's yeah. creepy. That's actually creepy. What the f was that? I legit just saw a shadow. This week, Franco TV made a return visit to the Weeping Angel Cemetery and things were just as spooky as before. First, Frank finds an odd storage cellar under the building where he had previously seen a shadow apparition, and he immediately begins to hear strange noises. I wanna check out this one area here. Now, the last time I was here, you could literally see like a shadow run over here. Today I'm going to try something a little bit different. Watch my six here. We're going to go inside. And how does this dude know that he isn't going to get uh, jumped by some people? Because he could very well get jumped by some people. Because I... I 
I, on a serious note, this dude could quite literally. If there were some people hiding in, in um, if there were some people hiding in this particular room, they could, they could jump him and rob him of any valuable items he might have, like like the camera, because, because no doubt this dude is probably filming the uh, video footage with, with a good quality camera, which would probably go for quite a bit of money. Plus also his phone will probably get stolen as well if he's got his phone on him. And yeah. Uh, by the way, the thing that I mentioned a while ago about being jumped, I don't mean that in a threatening way, it's just, I do get, I do get why when people go and uh, investigate places like this because, uh, the reason why is because I get worried that, that if they go to, uh, to a place like this at night time, like in a cemetery, they, they, they could get jumped, they could easily get jumped by somebody well, by a group of, by one or two people, like especially if you're by yourself, like, like if you go to places like this by yourself, you could, you could quite easily get jumped by someone, maybe, maybe two or three people, and 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 unless you know like martial arts or or something that you can use for self defense, then uh, like, like at least if you know how to defend yourself. Unless you know, like, unless you know how to do that, you you really uh, you you gotta be careful. Later, he walks along the graveyard pathway, and then this. So I'm gonna move in front of him. Oh. Oh. Okay, I want to make that spooky that only one. That spooky that out of the two wind chimes, only one of them blew in the wind. But some of the most chilling things in Franco TV's video, he didn't even notice as he was filming. All of the following incidents that I'm about to show you were pointed out by Frank's viewers. At one point in the video, Frank begins a strange game of Marco Polo. Marco! Now, you're probably asking why I'm saying Marco. It's a little inside joke. Well, it was supposed to be a joke, but on one of my videos I did the same thing. And you could actually hear a response back. Frank doesn't notice, but some very observant viewers pointed out that he might have actually got an answer. Marco! Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's spooky. That's spooky as hell. But then, things get even more that's bizarre. That's spooky AF. Franco makes a Spooky turn around the building and catches something truly chilling. I'm actually going to try to get towards the back. Ooh. Oh, what the hell was that? A shapeless, semi-transparent figure seems to float oh. by behind the hedges. Frank doesn't even notice.
How the hell do you not notice that? Later in the video, he comes face to face with something. Ooh. Wait, does I go past? Wait, does I go past the? Agnes seems to move right past him, but oh. he doesn't see it. Oh, oh there is that. Some viewers have nope. mentioned that the strange fog almost looks like a face or a person walking. Mm. But let me know what you think. Okay, okay, no. Okay, okay, no. The rest of Franco T. Okay, okay, no. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, no. No. Yeah, that is something North Visa says. <laughs> yeah, I was watching the, uh, the Five Nights of Freddy's that's place he was doing and The dude who plays the character, Lord Freezer. Uh, well, there's one YouTuber who, ha who plays as the character, uh, who plays as the character, Lord Freezer on YouTube. He, he's been doing these, like, Lord Freezer type Let's Plays of, like, Standard Arrival and, and Five Nights of Freddy's and I've been watching those videos and and I kind of got that, and, and I, uh, I, I kind of, once or twice, I got myself, I actually caught myself saying that as well, like right now. Please video over on his YouTube channel, Rayco TV. No fun. Boondocks Food and Fun is a small amusement park in central Colorado. Duke's top five viewer, Drake, says that when he started working at Boondocks, he had heard rumors about the place being haunted by the ghost of a little girl. Workers reported strange knocks and footsteps when no one else was around. And some even reported seeing objects move on their own. So one night, Drake and a couple of his fellow co-workers are watching the security camera, and they see this. Uh-oh. No. 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 Being wait 145 exactly and watch it's gonna just stop and stay there. Like it's not a big It's falling wait look. Yeah. It even went back up. Now it's interesting to note that the balloon doesn't hover around or move on the breeze like a normal balloon that's just losing helium. It actually moves straight down and then just stops in place. Almost as if it's being pulled by someone. But it gets even stranger. Because a few seconds later. See this. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> what the f and there's motion over there. Yeah, there's all motion over here. Some dark shape that's just too big to be a bug moves across the screen in front of their security camera lens. The CCTV switches into night vision mode, even though the lights are still on. Drake says that these cameras are mounted over 10 feet in the air, so it would be impossible for a person to simply walk in front of the camera. And this is not the way the night vision usually behaves. So is there a ghost haunting boondocks, food and fun? Yep. You decide. Probably. A short stay. Hey, you never know. There, it could, there could be a child who might have sadly passed away there. Um, yeah, for like medical reasons, and yeah, or 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 a child could have died somewhere near the place, and 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 the boom docks place could have been like a place where the child might have gone to a few times and enjoyed it there, and and the spirit of the child could have decided to go to go and haunt the boom docks place because. Because they remember the place, they remember Boondocks as a place of fun and happiness because of because of the because of all the fun games and toys they get to they get there. Plus, also got a food court, which is an added bonus. But finding but finding that the food and drink tastes good though, as long as the food and drink tastes good, that's partly. What a mess. YouTuber Antonis Vlahos explores allegedly haunted houses across the Greek countryside. In this particular episode, he is visiting a farmhouse that is said to be especially haunted. All of the previous owners passed away under strange and unusual circumstances. And the last owner, an elderly doctor, went insane in the house before dying of a heart attack. The family attempted to hire workers to renovate the home so that they could sell it. But after a few weeks, 
the workers absolutely refused to return to the house. gee, i wonder why. saying they had experienced constant paranormal activity since they began their work. gee, i wonder why. any paranormal expert would tell you that doing any paranormal that or doing any reconstruction on a place that's allegedly haunted and 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 so and when a thing like certain parts of the building will literally trigger a lot of spirits like any like the spirits of any number of people that died there they will literally get triggered if you try to renovate the place that they call home. As Antonis enters, he begins to explore the house. Dude, really? Dude, really? He finds a creepy old doll that the former residents claim is haunted. After exploring the house and setting up his equipment, he retires to one of the house's bedrooms. His plan is to stay two full nights in the haunted house. He decides to bring the allegedly cursed doll into his room, just to see what will happen. And it doesn't go well. do that you don't ever do that because if the door in question is reported to be haunted you don't ever do that the best way to do with it is to do is to like salt and burn the door or something like that. dude you're in trouble you're a paranormal investigator but things get even weirder dude he's a paranormal investigator you should know not to do shit like that. Lots of paranormal first guess know don't that you don't ever do that type of shit. Yeah, because that's just gonna make the paranormal activity a lot more. He worse. returns to his room and resets his camera. Something seems to be lurking just outside his door. Something that he doesn't even notice. He explores the house and again without noticing captures this. Antonis returns to bed, but in the end, he doesn't accomplish his goal of staying in the house two days. How's this shit going? The family that owned the home eventually decided to just have the house demolished. They have not rebuilt on the property. If you would like to suggest a video you've seen... You know, if I was that family... But if I was a member of that person's family and I had and I had custody of the house that's reportedly paranormal, you know, like if I had like like a cop, if I had like the original, like the main copy of the of the deed, then I probably do. You wanna know what I would do if I had a deed to the house? Like I'll still sell it. I'll actually sell it without anything. Like without anything in the house. I'll sell it. I'll just sell the house without renovating, so that way the new house owners can renovate it themselves. So it'll be their problem, not mine, because I ain't gonna deal with no power, no doo doo.
from trying to refurbish the place, the new house owners can do that themselves. That's what I'll be doing. At least that's what at least that's what I would suggest to the family. Like, like if they still got that pro, if they still own own that part of land the house is on, I, I'd just say just sell it. Like, just find a buyer to sell it to, and let them deal with it. Because think. Cause think you're not gonna be liable for it anymore. Cause like you, cause like any pound activity that's gonna happen on the property, that's none of your business anymore. You ain't liable. And and if they and if they don't like it, then they should have asked you if the place was ever reported to be haunted by some chance. Cause like sure you could disclose the information to them, but at the same time. The people that want to buy that that part of land could have asked you about it. Um, so, so it works both ways. You could have told them, but at the same time, they could have asked you about it. So, kind of works both ways. Anyway, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. Um, the link to the original video on Luke's Top Forest channel is going to be in the description box down below. Give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, hit the like button, and whatnot. And, uh, oh yeah, if you wanna, if you're interested in seeing me react to, any, to like, same video clips of, of anime or whatnot, please let me know. Yeah, I, I, was, I want to mention that in the, uh, in a SSJ9K video I reacted to. Oh, we actually feel I did, but I, I, I neglected to mention that. Anyway, until next time, bye bye for now.